In today's video, I bring you an eco-friendly disinfectant. Don't throw away orange peels, they can be used to make a nice disinfectant. And the best thing is that you don't need to take it to the fire, I will tell you everything step by step, but first, put down here the city where you are watching us from, I'm very curious to know, then I'll come over to answer you and send you a special hug, guys, I have my peels here, which I have been collecting throughout the week. I put them in 2 liters of water, from yesterday to today. And the aroma of the orange is wonderful, a very good smell. And it is a way for you to recycle the peels. Later, you can save the peels to make soap, or you can mix them into the compost. I'm going to save it and mix it into the plant compost. Without further ado, let's get to the tip. I have a bottle of disinfectant here, which I always keep for this kind of tip. I will pour the liquid from the orange into the bottle. You have to add it by straining, okay? If you prefer, you can add a little more normal water. Do this if you want a larger amount of product. Look how yellow the water is, the color of the orange. Now, I have here 100 milliliters of detergent. We are going to mix it with some 70% alcohol. You can use any alcohol. I put, more or less, 50 ml of alcohol anyway, just to preserve our disinfectant. And to finish, I will add 50 ml of water to clean the rest of the detergent. Then stir a lot to be able to add all the ingredients. And there you have the best disinfectant. Best of all, not only will you clean your floors, but you can also clean your furniture. Just put it in a spray bottle. For those who don't know, orange is a great repellent against several insects. Use and abuse this disinfectant. It will give your house a very pleasant orange smell. People, I would like to pass on a message that is in Matthew chapter 18, verse 21 to 22. Then Peter came to Jesus and asked, Lord, how many times shall I forgive my brother when he sins against me? Up to seven times? Jesus answered, I tell you, not up to seven times, but up to seventy times seven. Forgiving is not easy but it is very important. After saying that we must forgive countless times, Jesus explained that our forgiveness must be the fruit of the forgiveness we have received from God. If God has forgiven us for all our offenses, then we have no right to hold a grudge against anyone. When we forgive, we show the power of God's love and leave justice in His hands. I am very glad that you watched this video. See you next time. Goodbye.